Welcome to Gluten Free Gourmet. Today I'm making a kale walnut pesto. I love pesto because it makes any leafy green taste great. I especially like this one because the end result is really earthy and satisfying. So let's get started. First, I add my washed and stemmed kale into boiling water. I'm just gonna blanch the kale. This makes it really bright green and cooks it just enough so it's not so coarse. It looks like a lot of kale, but as you can see, it does start to cook down once it's in the boiling water. Then I remove the kale into an ice bath. This just helps it stop cooking and keeps the bright green color that's so pretty with pesto. Next, I have all my kale in the food processor and I just give it a quick pulse to help break it down. And then I add about half of my olive oil. That's just really to get things moving. And the walnuts. And then I add the garlic. And then I add some lemon zest. Most of the time if a recipe calls for lemon, I like to do lemon zest and lemon juice. I just feel like it really makes the lemon um, present in the dish. And I add salt and pepper. This dish will need quite a bit of salt just because again, the kale is so bright and green. And then Parmesan cheese. I know you can use your food processor to um, grate it, I didn't do that this time, I just felt like I had more control kind of knowing how much was already going and grated. And a little bit more oil just to get everything really well incorporated. And then I add that lemon juice that I was talking about. At this point, I get the rest of the oil in there. You can take the top off of your processor and keep an eye on this. I was comfortable enough to add the rest of the oil. It was looking pretty good. It gets me every time. It's gorgeous. This time around, I decided to use brown rice spaghetti. And I'm just adding a little bit of salt and pepper on top of the pasta. When I'm cooking, I usually try to add a little bit of salt and pepper at each step. And then I add a hearty amount of pesto. I'm adding quite a bit more pesto than you would with such something such as a basil pesto, and that's because it's not as herbaceous as um, a basil pesto would be. I also added some pasta water back into the pasta. That adds some extra starch and just gives the sauce a really good texture. Then I give it a taste. Looks like it needed a little bit more salt yet. And some Parmesan. <laughs> no surprise there with me. one last taste for a good measure, and then serve it up. And there you have it, a delicious and nutritious kale walnut pesto. If you don't think you like kale, give this a try, it might change your mind. Let me know if you do in the comments below, and I'll see you next time on Gluten-Free Gourmet.